Hello guys. So I just decided to go on a keto diet. So I'm about to go through my pantry and see what I have, what I want to give them, like what I want to throw away, all that kind of stuff. So you're not necessarily going to be looking at me. Ooh, gonna be looking at me in this video. Um, I'm a little sick, so that's why my voice sounds like this. Hi, Sky. She's so hyper right now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my gosh. Vlogging, I forgot how painful it is to your arms to keep this nice angle. I'm trying to turn on my light so y'all can see shit. So, all right. I've just been drinking some water. I always drink my water out of this little bubble cup. It keeps the water. Yeah, look, yo, I know y'all just see my Christmas tree. Y'all probably like, girl, take that down. Listen, <laughs> don't do me. Don't, okay? I'll take it down when I feel like taking it down. Or you can come take it down for me. But um, let's just take a look at what's in the fridge. Wait, let me see if I have some inappropriate weird stuff in here. Okay, no, I do not. Okay. So, what I'm looking for is to see what has like a lot of carbs in it. I love zesty Italian. I'm just really going through all of these ingredients. This is just garlic. I don't know why I'm even looking at this. Ranch, um, let's see. Ranch looks like it's good. 1% carb. Um, so with um, carbs, you have to stay I think, below 25 or so. So that's fine. But this honey mustard, oh, sis, no. 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 Just, you see that? Six grams of sugar. It's a no for me, dog. So I'm gonna just put everything that's not on the keto diet down here. I got extra condiments. I should probably throw these away. I know this like sucks, but you know. Uh, this is how I roll. I broke this. Don't ask me how or why. Wow. I have some old ass lemons. Okay, I feel like y'all gonna judge me in this, but that's okay. They were some organic lemons and I completely forgot that they were even in here. So, to trash they go. I'm gonna take my trash out in a minute. Okay? Okay. Hi, Sky. Hey, baby. Hi, mama. All right. So we're just gonna continue. I have some jalapenos, yum yum. I'm trying to keep stuff like that at the top so that I'm like inspired. <laughs> they, Dijon mustard, I'm not even a big Dijon mustard fan. Like, I don't like the taste. I'm just gonna put that down there. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, somebody said you can use Alfredo sauce. First of all, I don't make this stuff. I don't even know why it's in here, but I hate this, like canned Alfredo. Yeah, no, 2019, <laughs> no ma'am, throw that shit away, okay? No ma'am. You need to learn how to make your own pasta that's nice and fresh out of heavy cream. That's not gonna work. What is this? Oh, I already know it's sweet. Nope, we're just gonna trash that because that ain't something I even eat. Now, my jerk seasoning. So I'm gonna just try to organize all of this, this is what my refrigerator looks like if you guys actually care. 90% of this stuff is bad. So I'm about to clean all of this out because, honey, mm -mm. Need, we can't be doing this. I need, 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 oh, yeah. It's easier, yeah. so easy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love. I'm done with these bitches. I dust off these bitches. Do it for fun. Don't take it. Okay, so these are some of the things I'm gonna throw away in like a second. Have carbs or sugars and all this. This is the acai like packet. I don't know what's in it, so I'm just like, let's throw it out. These right here was from a party. I don't even drink this. But I'm going to put it in my pantry for other people. But I just wanted to get that in my refrigerator because it's just taking up too much space. So, 
this is what my fridge is looking like <laughs> sorry y'all i know it's gonna look so empty okay girl we gotta go get groceries so i'm gonna let y'all see after i get groceries but just some cream cheese and some butter and sour cream like i've literally checked all the labels on this stuff this stuff is good this stuff is good and it gets a little hazy down here like all like let me actually put this down here tartar sauce i don't know why i have this i don't really eat tartar sauce like that um all of this stuff have like two grams of sugar so and like one percent carb so i'm just like i'm gonna put it right here because i don't really know like all my dressings pretty much have that so i don't really know how that works but that just got empty <laughs> Say, what you doing, Scott? Trying to get get my car. You trying to eat all the cars? I'm trying to give away. That's what you doing? Yup, mama. Yup. Actually, um, these are just chicken wings. I take them out. Let me just show you guys, so you guys don't think this is weird. <laughs> so I buy in bulk. So I buy a lot of like chickens and stuff, and then I just put them in Ziploc bags. I have salmon over here and chicken. Y'all, this is why I wanted to go on the keto diet because I feel like my lifestyle is kind of keto, like low key. So um, I just have some ribs and stuff down there, and then some turkey, um, burgers, ground beef. Like, I put, like, my bad foods down here so, like, I can keep them if I change my mind. But if I continue to go on the keto, then we can throw all that out. These are chicken breasts. And they just, I mean, actually, chicken tenders. And I just put, like, five of them in the bag. Because, y'all, it's just me. So, I'm like, I need to individually cook. Like, this is my salmon. Y'all can't even see it because it's, like, so frozen. But, um, yeah, it was fresh. But, you know, frozen because your girl lives by herself and i can't eat all of that so i'm gonna to pretty much throw most of this away i have frozen grapes i'm gonna put these actually back in the freezer like i literally haven't even researched keto enough to know but anyway so i do have lots of cheese i'm trying to see how i think i'm gonna put the cheese and stuff all in here this is where i had my frozen grapes so now i'm just gonna like wipe this out i don't know where i got this from i think home goods Either way, I'm just going to put my cheeses in here so that everything is kind of confined because I don't want everything just floating around my refrigerator. So, y'all got cheese everywhere. All right. Cheese. Um, more cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. There we go. So I'm just going to put this in the frigereta. Because that is needed. So boom. We off to a good start already. What's good? Put my lemon back in here because I love lemon water in the mornings. Have my lemon water right up in this thing. Like, what's up, girl? So I also cleaned out my pantry. Now, I know all this stuff is not keto friendly. I am keeping it because I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going on keto forever, okay? I'm just doing it for the first 30 days, see how I like it. We got sugars over here. So, like, this is kind of like the, um, no <laughs> area, but all of this is stuff that is good. And I do organize my seasonings and stuff, like my main seasonings on here in, like, a shoe rack. So, if you want to do that. I highly recommend it because that's how I do it and it's very organized and I got some bad stuff down here as well but I decided to go ahead and cook I feel like this is gonna be so easy because I do have an air fryer you guys if you don't follow me on Instagram then you don't know but if you follow me on Instagram girl you already know a sis got an air fryer and I just got done frying some chicken that's why it's dirty and here is the chicken I've already eaten some, y'all. It is so freaking crispy. This chicken is so freaking crispy. And it was in the air fryer. All I did was put some Miss Dash on it. Let me show you guys. That Miss Dash, baby. This is what gives it that look. That like, dang, that look like some good grilled chicken look. Like, this Miss Dash right here is so fire. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, I think I can have ranch. I have ranch. I can. 
Hi guys. So I'm doing the Walmart pickup service right now. So I'm just adding stuff to my cart and watching some videos. I'm about to get some almond butter. And I just need, I'm trying to understand this whole net carbs thing. Because sis, I don't understand. Okay, net carbs are what you're left with after subtracting the grams of fiber per serving from the total carbohydrate amount per serving. For example, if an item has 20 grams of carbohydrates and it contains 8 grams of fiber, then the amount of net carb the item contains is 12 grams. Um... I'm just shopping y'all, trying to get me some groceries. Here are my groceries. This is what I have so far. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, this is the next day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I, um, y'all, my throat is not getting any better. But I went, I actually did the Walmart grocery pickup. And I'll link it below if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I actually did that and got so many groceries to start off my keto diet. So I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I got. I spent about, not I didn't spend $200, but it was like almost $200. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to just show you guys what I got. So this is all the stuff that I got. So I just got some pepper jack cheese, some bacon, and I got some like hot link sausages, which I think are gonna be so good. I don't know, I picked up this, this Jimmy Bean things, but I think this definitely has, I don't know, I think it only has eggs in it. I think this should be fine. Yep, this one is good for keto. It's good for keto. It's not much, not much carbs, so yeah. Got some vegetable stock and some chicken broth. I got some almond flour, which people say is very, 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 very good. A lot of people like to use it on keto. I saw a nice recipe using that, so I'm hyped. Avocado oil, which I've never tried before, but a lot of people were talking about it. And I just got like two big things of baking soda, you know, for other type of projects. Um, I got some baby spinach, some asparagus tips which i love asparagus y'all i picked this up this pasta zero i have no idea what this is but of course you can't have carbs while you are on the keto diet so i'm gonna see how this is i was gonna get zucchini noodles but um i don't know i opted to get this um i am gonna get some zucchini noodles but i want to get the um little thing that just spiral them so i could just get zucchinis i got some cucumbers bell peppers um, some turkey burgers. I, I honestly have no idea why I bought this because um, I already have some turkey burgers, but Yeah um, I got these pesto spirals, which is basically um, the zucchini and carrots and it's just like in some pesto This doesn't it's not high on carb. So I was like yes some Brussels sprouts What's this Rice veggies, which is cauliflower Rice cauliflower. I've actually never had cauliflower before, so this should be interesting. I got two things of shrimp, some sirloin tender steaks, coconut oil. Oh, y'all, I love some sun dried tomatoes. Like, sun dried tomatoes are the business. I love them. Like, that's my this is literally probably my sweetener. Like, I heard a lot of people talking about almond butter, so of course, I had to go pick up some. To see what the hype is about. Because you know. I be wanting some sweet sometimes too. Some white chicken. I've seen this recipe. Where you can make pizza crust. Out of chicken and parmesan cheese. So I'm hyped for that. And I got some tomato sauce to go with it. And I also got some pepperoni. And I got some banana peppers. In my refrigerator. So I, this is my favorite pizza. Pepperoni. Banana peppers. Yum yum yum. Of course pepperoni doesn't have any carbs in it. We got Lots of butter, cream cheese, sour cream, pistachios, all this mozzarella cheese, and half and half. 
and some heavy whipping cream and also some avocados. I feel like I'm gonna want some kind of sparkling something. So I got sparkling water and I heard this brand was really good. So I'm about to go ahead and put all this stuff in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna show y'all what my refrigerator gonna, refrigerator gonna look like because this right here ain't it sis. So let me go ahead and pack this thing full. I forgot to tell you guys about these stuff, these Joseph's like pita breads and these flat breads yo these are very low on carbs well i don't know if this brand is this is not what i asked for damn this is not what i asked for nope i know they substituted something but i honestly did not know what they were substituting i'm like Ugh, this is annoying so this is like net four carbs. This pita bread right here is net four carbs per pita. So like you're only supposed to take in about 25 carbs a day or less. So definitely want to count them. If you can incorporate stuff like this, but you have to be very proportionate with it. So these are four net carbs. I got some eggs. I don't know if I said that. Okay. Bubbly, clean, I like it. <laughs> so this is my refrigerator. Eggs and stuff at the top. And we got our greens, waters, basically greens, waters, and then some half and half and milk and stuff. Dairy, a little dairy there. And then you got your meats and cheeses. And I still ain't got nothing down there, but this is cool. Like, it's a minimalist lifestyle, okay? You don't need a lot of stuff, especially, it's just me, y'all. It's just me. But then, got all the stuff in the freezer. Just threw those things in there. So, we good. I think I'm gonna make the steak with the cauliflower today. Not sure, but I kept the steak out because I feel like I want some steak. I haven't had steak in a minute, so we're definitely gonna eat on that. So now I'm about to indulge on this meat lovers. Like with real egg sausage, cheddar cheese, and bacon. This is gonna be good with my sparkling water. So let's get it. Hey y'all, so today is a new day. I don't even know what today. This day, what, Saturday? Yes, so I've been eating on keto. I've been doing the keto diet, and I'm gonna post a few pictures so that you guys see a few of the meals that I've made and have been cooking and all that kind of stuff. So I do post them on my Instagram stories, but I'm just gonna show you guys here. But um, I'm actually about to make some Cheddar Bay Biscuits right now and I'm kind of excited. They are keto friendly. I'm about to look up the recipe right now. I'm gonna put the link below so y'all can check it out if y'all wanna make them. But yo girl is excited. Okay, so let's see. Almond flour, I did buy some almond flour. Almond flour. Dried parsley flakes. Hmm. Hmm, what a dry pot is Boo yell. We got that Publix brand, sis. El Chipo. Ba -da -ba -ba. Bacon powder. Damn it. I gotta go get bacon powder. I actually need bacon powder and cheddar cheese. What the hell? So let me go to the store, y'all. And then we can make these cheddar bay biscuits. Damn. Yeah, girl, got some cheese and I got some baking powder. So I'm ready to go. Got my almond flour, parsley. But y'all, I went to Trader Joe's, got some more stuff because I was on that side of town. I was like, I might as well go ahead. Got me a lot of these laughing cow cheeses. So yummy. Come on, focus. I got some of these um, crunchy okras. I love them. They have about. They have 19 grams of carb, but 11 grams of that is actually fiber. So 
um, comes down to what, like eight or something. Yeah, so, and that's the whole bag, the service size. So, I'm probably gonna only eat like two or three of these a day or so. So, not too many. It's not gonna be too much at all. And I'll get some fiber out of it, so it's cool. I got three bags of those. I got some berries. We got raspberries, blueberries, more cheese. Limes, what is this? Some more asparagus, cause that asparagus I, that was out. <laughs> that asparagus I had yesterday was popping. And then I got some blackberries down there. I think that's everything that's in that bag. And I just got a bunch of sparkling waters and a bunch of like peanuts and cashews. Look at these cashews I found, y'all. That's gonna be so good. I can't wait, but I got all these sparkling waters that are like Trader Joe's brand. So I wanna try these out to see if they're actually good. Um, so I'm gonna be drinking one of those today with my meal. But let's get these biscuits ready. Are you ready, Sky? Are you ready to cook these biscuits, baby? Yeah, mama. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And don't take it personal. Personally, I'm surprised you call me after the things. Skirt, skirt on niggas. Skirt, skirt, skirt on these bitches. Yeah. Skirt down and they do it for free. Girl, you know we wasn't more than a summer flame. I said farewell. I thought you took it well. You told me you wouldn't cry over spilled milk. You did. Give me another towel. I'ma turn up the volume. We just need an hour or two so we can do what we do, baby. Make it do what it do, baby. Fighting right, blade on curve, will you still love? 